The Hart family is having a very public feud over how to preserve the legacy of Owen Hart. It's a touchy subject, but me and Eli, we're going to discuss. ProWrestlingSheet.com Ryan Satin here, here with Elijah Bates. Hello, everybody. And, you know, there's an interesting story going on right now involving Owen Hart. Now, Owen Hart, it's been a long time since he's passed away at this point, but the name and how to preserve his legacy kind of got brought back up again during the WWE Hall of Fame this year when Mark Henry was inducted. Now, Mark Henry pleaded with Owen Hart's widow, begging her to allow WWE to put Owen Hart in the Hall of Fame in the future and allow them to do memorials uh, and different stuff where his name is mentioned. Now, Bret Hart came out after the fact, and when he was asked about this, he talked about uh, how he felt about Martha Hart and how she was not allowing it to happen. He said that she was being very uh, uh, cold-hearted about the situation by not allowing the fans who of wrestling to talk about his wrestling in a good light all this time later. Now, Martha Hart fought back. She released a public statement, a press release, saying how angry she was at Brett for saying this and how the things he said were cruel, reckless, irresponsible, and hurtful. Now, Eli, uh, last night, Bret Hart fired back and he put out this really long statement. I, mean, I know you read it. Yeah, yeah, I read it. And he basically doubled down on the whole situation. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about all this? Because I, it's hard, it's a tough situation to discuss because- It is, it is. Both sides really do make sense. I, you know, like I, I, I'm so conflicted on the matter just because like I, I was watching Over the Edge in 1999 as it took place and everything. I bore witness to the scene that unfolded as tragic as it was. I, I, it's, it's, you know, a moment in time that although it's remembered is not oft gone back and rewatched and reseen. Um, recently over the weekend, you know, I, I flip flop on the matter just because it depends, I think, on what connects with me at that moment in time. I flip flop on the matter, flip flopped recently because um, I was reading an interview with Jeff Jarrett when he was talking about the scene backstage and everything. And, I, and a lot of people have extrapolated about that scene backstage too. Um, but I, I tried to find video of, because he went on pretty much right as they were trying to revive Owen Hart too. Um, and you know, the videos of this, you can't necessarily see that footage on the WWE Network. Yeah. You can't find it on YouTube either. You have to look at like Daily Motion. You have to find it somewhere. You gotta dig deep. You, you do have to dig deep. And I watched the, the, the clip that showed um, both Jeff Jarrett and Deborah McMichael uh, being interviewed just prior to going out. And you know, it's so fu like weird watching it now in the context of 2018, but going back and watching it, they're using words like puppies. They're using all these characterized words from the Attitude Era, but you can see the pain underlying and the freak out moment that they're both having too. Oh yeah. It's a real moment. You know, uh, I, 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 I think it's affected every wrestling fan who was a fan at that moment in time too. Um, in terms of how I feel about Bret Hart's words, I get it. I, it's hard for me not to side with Martha Hart in this situation though too, because wrestling, although we love it and it's like the greatest thing ever, is not everything at the same time too. So I do understand Martha Hart's situation. I understand why she's taking this stance and I can understand why she doesn't really, not that she doesn't care about wrestling fans, but I really get why she doesn't respect Bret Hart's opinion about her or showing a lack of a lack of respect towards it and why she would react that way. And I fully understand Bret Hart's side of it too. Wrestling fans want to honor Owen Hart. They want to give him the chance to receive his moment in the sun, you know, in the Hall of Fame and to be remembered, you know, not just as a footnote, but in a broad celebration as well. So I can kind of get both sides of it. In terms of where I side, it's really hard, I, like, I, you know, if I hadn't watched that clip of Jeff Jarrett and, and Deborah before that, I might have sided with Bret Hart, but after I watched that this past weekend, and I, you know, I texted you and- Yeah, and, you and, definitely and, wrote me about it. You were fired up. I, I, I was, because I watched it and I was like, this is gross. It was like, and, and there are all sorts of, of, uh, uh, of backstage, you know, uh, recallings of what happened, how people wish that the show would have been stopped. I guarantee you in this day and age, that show would have been stopped. They would not have oh, continued. Oh yeah, oh, in 2018, that show would have been stopped. It, it would have been stopped immediately. So uh, I, 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 can, I, hope. I can sympathize with like the wrestling fans who want to celebrate him. However, from a human being standpoint, when I think about how Martha Hart must feel towards wrestling in general, because wrestling isn't everything to her, but it took her everything too. So I kind of, understand and accept why she's taking this hardline stance and why she could care less about what Bret Hart has to say about it. And it's interesting to me because I, I feel so strongly on the other side of things. As much as I understand everything Martha Hart has gone through, I kind of feel like I'm on the 
the other side of the spectrum. And I think it's mainly from the fact that, you know, my brother and I were so close. And when he passed away, um, you know, honoring his legacy is something that, you know, is important to me that yeah. people don't ever forget my brother, that mm -hmm. he doesn't become an afterthought, that even I don't forget my brother because I've stopped talking about him and yeah. stuff like that. And so um, from Brett's point of view, as like someone who lost a brother they were very close with, you know, who he was in Owen's life longer than Martha ever was. Yeah. And, you know, obviously she was very close to him. It's not like she was, uh, you know, they had kids together, they were married, they loved each other. Um, so it's a little different, but if I, you know, if, if it were something, if it were a position that I were in and someone, let's say my brother had been married when he passed away yeah, and yeah. he married to someone who wouldn't let me, you know, let people, sh show people his snowboarding movies or something like that uh -huh. that he produced, I would be furious, yeah. you know? I would be very furious if she had like a locking key on that and was like, nope, I'm never unlocking this F you guys. And furthermore, you know, in this statement that Bret Hart put out, uh, he had a few things, he said a few things in there that I found very, uh, they were pretty intense. He said, Stampede Wrestling was an institution in the city of Calgary. Wrestling was our family business. My brothers and I either wrestle for my father's stew or work behind the scenes. Fans packed the Victoria Pavilion every Friday night for decades. Martha has seemed to have forgotten that she attended those same shows before she met Owen. She was, by definition, a wrestling fan. That same group Martha appears to look down upon and ignore. And then he kind of followed up by saying that, the, you know, he talked about Mark Henry's Hall of Fame induction and how fans have said that the stuff he said about Owen brought them to tears. Yeah. And so he said, those same fans Martha sat side by side with at Stampede Wrestling and WWE events. Those same fans that donate to the Owen Hart Foundation and helped make it what it is today because they remember the joy he brought to their lives and not by how he died. Those royalty checks she receives from the company that she says she doesn't want any part of, those are also from the same fans. To her, their tears do not matter. To me, that is cruel and hurtful. I, I understand the fan side of that argument, too. That makes perfect sense. The argument that, oh, you were a big fan back then, why aren't you a fan anymore, or whatever that, that tone well, might be. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of along those lines, and you know, I was just trying to think of an analogous comparison, and the only thing I can think of is like, it, what if back in the day when you were like playing Mortal Kombat 3 in the arcade all the time, and the arcade machine tipped over and killed your brother, or killed you know, your friend, or something like that, or, or horrifically, like, you know, misaligned your life on the direction that it was in, you probably wouldn't like Mortal Kombat anymore. Yeah. And so I can understand her standpoint of not wanting to be part of the industry. In terms of, like, keeping Owen away from the fans, uh, like, I'm not for that. I, I've always been about celebrating Owen Hart's life. Everybody has only the best things to say about Owen Hart. He's, he's a positive figure in, a, in an industry that is marred by a lot of not so positive figures. And I do think that it is worth her while to sell, like, because as the WWE does too, they are not going to do a dark celebration. They're not going to talk in, inappropriately about him. If anything, they're the best at celebrating the positives that exist. That's why they managed to, you know, do this positive video before they changed the name of the Moolah Battle Royal and everything like that and made Moolah seem like a hero. They brought Hulk Hogan back. Yeah, yes, <laughs> and, you know, and, and we have differing opinions on that as well, too. <laughs> but, but so, like, I, 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 I wish that the opportunity was there to celebrate Owen Hart. And I do think that at a certain point, Owen Hart's children are gonna grow up and make their own decisions. And then I think that might be the more appropriate time to do it. When you're dealing with somebody- They're who, old, they, they are, by the way, they are- They must be. They're like, in their 20s. They must be in their 20s. In regard to like- He looks, the Oge looks just I've like see, I've it's seen crazy, my, I've yeah. seen that picture of him actually. It's like, he's like a dead on Owen Hart It's crazy too. But you know, like I just, and I understand where wrestling fans are coming from too. Wrestling fans, you know, like a lot of times, I don't know if it's just due, due to the Carnivalian aspect of wrestling and everything like that. They want to celebrate things that are just not necessarily, where well, there's a, a negative attached to it. And not that I would ever put Owen Hart on the same level as like a Chris Benoit, but you still see wrestling fans trying to defend the positives of Chris Benoit. And yeah. it's just like, no, 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 that's never, that's never going to happen. Chris Benoit is never going to be celebrated, but Owen Hart definitely deserves to be. And I do hope that at some point there is a decision made that allows him to A, be inducted, B, have a broad celebration of the wonderful character and human being that he was. That was a fancy word you used, Carnivalian. Right. That's a lot better than Carney. I liked Car I liked the word Carney, but I'll that was stick good. with Carnivalian from now on. <laughs> uh, and lastly, do you think that that they'll get Martha Hart to budge in the next, I don't know, 10 years? Um, you know, I, I hate to, actually, I love to say this, I wouldn't say I hate to say this, but you never say never in the wrestling industry. You know, Hulk Hogan's back, for instance, and everything like that. And although, opinions on uh, Yeah, and, and you know, like, I, I, I do think that there's a chance for it, 
I don't think that Bret Hart going off about Martha Hart on the internet is going to be the thing that turns the tide, but uh, I think that every human being will have a change of heart, no pun intended, and I do hope that Martha Hart has a change of heart at some point, or that her children do, and that we do get to celebrate Owen Hart as he deserves. Yeah, I read an article on Cage Side Seats this morning that basically said that this public feud between Martha and Bret is not the way to preserve Owen Hart's legacy. No. They should both be able to realize that, you it, know? It's, it, it's really tragic, you know, just because he, because really the only celebration of Owen's character and, and the human great human being that he was is through the words that other professional wrestlers have to say about him. But damn, there's so much good video and there's so much great footage. And I guarantee you, there's probably so much behind the scenes footage of those moments that wrestlers always talk about that they could show, that they could paint him in this positive light. I, I really do. I, I'm holding out hope, I think in time, but I think it's gonna take a little bit more time. I also think it's gonna take a little bit more time, but I wanna hear from you guys. Do you guys think it's gonna take more time? Do you think it'll never happen? Do you think Bret Hart is being uh, a little too public about this? Do you think Martha should maybe forgive the Hart family a little bit and let them talk? There's literally so many questions. There's so much discussion here. I wanna hear from all of you guys. Hit the comments below and also hit us up on social media. It's at Wrestling Sheet on Facebook and Twitter. Until then, stay out of the dirt and keep your eye on the sheet.